Hello friends, my name is Samir Rohadia. So welcome to this uh, particular video. This video is an extension of my previous video, which talked about the various use cases of text to columns. So if you have not seen this video, then please watch this, uh, my previous video. The link is available on the top. In this video, I'll be talking about that, how we can use the CSV file and how we can bring the data from the CSV file to the Microsoft Excel. It is not so easy. So I will show you the way of bringing that data from CSV to the Microsoft Excel in a very simple manner so please stay tuned to this video and we will start with this concept of bringing the data from csv to the microsoft excel but before that i would like to explain you that what is csv how it is different from microsoft excel and then where we can use this csv format so let us start so here in this folder i have kept uh, two files that is one is the csv file csv stands for comma separated value file so here we are having the microsoft excel comma separated values file and another one is the normal microsoft excel worksheet this is just the first thing that i wanted to show you that how it is looking and how it is shown in the folder now what we'll be doing that uh, we'll be starting with first of all a brief introduction about what is csv where we can use the csv how it is different from microsoft excel because there is very very important to understand so let us go for the differences so here i'm having one article which i have taken from data camp platform so i'll be putting the link of this article in the description you can check it out now in this article it is talking about the differences between the csv and the excel so first of all we'll start with a quick summary of the major differences so csv use csv when you need a lightweight universally compatible format for straightforward data exchange between different systems and software applications so whenever you want to have a data set which is very light and which you can connect with various uh, softwares then definitely you can use the csv while excel it says that use Excel when you require robust data analysis capabilities, including complex calculations, visualizations, integrated data manipulation tools within a user-friendly interface. So you can say that Excel is much more advanced compared to the CSV because in Excel, it is not just for storing the data. It is also for, uh, let's say you can create the data, you can store the data, you can do the various analysis over there. You can do a lot of formatting in Excel. You can apply the various calculations over there. You can create the uh, charts and graphs. So Excel Excel is much more advanced compared to the CSV. Now we'll see that where are CSV and Excel files used. So CSV and Excel files are essential in data analysis and decision making. So whenever you are talking about the data analytics, definitely we have to talk about the CSV and the Excel files. They help you organize, analyze and present data efficiently. So it is for the data management. Now if we come directly to the significance of CSV files. So CSV files are used for data exchange. So here it is written CSV files are often used to transfer the data between applications, databases and platforms. Their simplicity ensures that the data can be read and processed by various systems regardless of the software use. So here it is not binded to a particular software. We can use this CSV file. We can connect with any software. Let's say if I want to connect to Power BI, if I want to connect to Excel, if I want to connect to Tableau or any other data visualization tool, it can be done very easily. So first significance is data exchange. The second one is the data storage. So in the data storage, storage csv files provide a straightforward way to store large data sets without the overhead of additional software they are particularly useful for archiving data or sharing it across different teams and organizations if you want to store it if you want to put it in the archive we can use this csv format very easily it is also used for the data import and export normally all the data scientists data engineer data analysts they are using this csv format and this we can use it in python r sql all the software they support the csv format now we come to the the significance of Excel files. So Excel files are used for data manipulation. We can perform very complex calculations over there. We can transform the data. So, so one by one, we'll be going into detail in this particular playlist. So if you have not subscribed to the playlist, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe this channel and you can also watch the playlist on Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is used for the data manipulation. Then we have the data visualizations. So as you know, in Excel, we can create various kinds of charts and graphs. So that will be also part of this particular playlist. Then we can do the data analysis. We can use the various tool packs which are available and we can do in-depth analysis in Excel. And the last one is the reporting. So we can create a very beautiful Excel dashboard and we can give it to the user and then the business user can use it for taking some decisions. So remember that all these things will be also having in this playlist. One by one, I'll be putting those videos and please watch those videos. Now, CSV. CSV, as I said, that uh, CSV, it means that comma separated values. 
So remember this short form, comma, separated values file. It is a plain text format where each line represents a row of data and comma separate the values within each row. This plain text format makes CSV files easy to read and write, both by humans and computers. For example, a CSV file containing data about books might look like this. So I can give you an example. So let me bring here Notepad. So if you want to create a CSV file, then normally we use the Notepad. Now in the Notepad, Suppose if I want to create a data set for the employee, so I can create in the notepad like this. So in the first line, I'll be writing the titles of the column. So I'll be starting with employee number, then I'll put comma, then I'll write down here employee first name, maybe something like this, short form, comma, and then I'll write down here employee last name, comma, then we'll be having the location, suppose, comma, and then we can also write down the department, and so on, I can create so many columns, okay? So just now I'm keeping it very simple. So in the first line, we always write down the title of all the columns. Now I go to the next column here and now I should start creating the data set. So I'll be starting with, let's say, employee number 001, comma, then employee first name. Let's say I write down my name, Samir, comma, Rohadia is my last name, comma, location, Germany, comma, let's say I'm in IT department. Now I go to the next row and in the next row, now I'm typing the details of another employee, 002, comma, Tony, comma, Blair, okay, Blair is the last name, comma, then I write down here, UK, comma, marketing, and so on, okay? So this is how we create a CSV file, and then I have to save this file as a .csv. .csv is the extension of the CSV file, and then once this CSV file is created, then I can use this CSV file with some other softwares. So this is how we create a CSV file. Creating the CSV file is very, very easy. It's not complex. And here, remember that we cannot do that much of formatting that what we have in Excel. If I want to bold all the column titles, then here it is not possible but in case of Excel, it is possible. A little bit I can bold here. Let's say now this option is available here, bold. Now it is possible because earlier this feature was not available, but now we are having here bold, italics. I can put here link here. Yeah, I can clear the formatting. I can also change the heading here. Let's say if I want to make it bigger, I can click over here. I can select here subheading so it will be become big or I can make the title so it will be very, very big. So these kind of standard options are available here and I can also go for the bullet. So whether I want to have the bulleted list or numbered list, this also I can do it over here. But normally in the CSV file, we don't do that kind of formatting. We keep it very simple without formatting. Now, after this, let us come back over here. So advantages of CSV. So CSV, as I said earlier, it's a plain text format. So it is very easy to create, very easy to store. Then compatibility, as I said, that the CSV file is compatible with all the softwares. So it can be used very well. Then human readable, plain text format of CSV files makes them easy to read and understand without specialized software. We don't require a special software to read that file. It's very easy to understand. And the last one here is efficiency. CSV files are efficient in terms of storage space as they do not include any formatting or metadata beyond the data itself. So I'll also show you an example that suppose if I'm having a CSV file and from the CSV file, if I create an Excel file, then we'll compare the size of both the files. Okay, which one is bigger, which one is smaller, that we'll see practically. Then we are having the limitations of CSV. So limitations are that it does not support that much of formatting. Yeah, I cannot give the color to the font here. Yeah, I cannot apply the various styles over here. Let's say in case of Excel, we are having various font styles. We are having Times New Roman, Arial, Calibri, etc. So I cannot create a cell border. CSV file is just containing a very, very basic formatting. Like we saw just now bold, italics, increasing the font size, that's all. Then lack of advanced features. So as we know that in case of Excel, we can create pivot tables, we can do data validation and all those things. But in case of CSV, it is not possible. Then limited data handling. So CSV files are not well suited for very large data set or highly complex data structures. So they are best suited for simple flat data tables. So for simple flat tables, it is also known as flat tables here. For simple flat tables, we can create a CSV file. But suppose if you want to have a very large data set, then definitely it is not possible here. Then we have to use Microsoft Excel. And the last one here is potential for data corruption. If the data itself contains commas, care must be taken to properly escape these characters to prevent errors in reading or writing the file. So whenever we'll be reading this file, let's say if I want to read the file in Excel, then we have to take a little bit of care here. So that we'll see practically. Now you have got a very good idea about what is CSV and how it is different from Microsoft Excel. Now we will 
go for the practical part so here we are having one csv file that is employee database i'll be just opening this file so when i double click this csv file then it is opened like this in microsoft excel so here i can make it bigger and it is containing some records over here in the first row we are having the column title so we are having employee id first name last name gender role department experience country continent salary employee rating and manager id so these are the various columns that we are having in csv file now we want to convert this csv into a proper excel table so you can see that it is easy to read but then everything is clubbed in one particular cell so if i click here this a1 cell then in a1 cell i'm having all all these things if i go to here a2 cell then in a2 cell i am having all these things written in only one cell now i don't want to see like this i want to see the data in proper format in a particular table so now what we can do here we will use here the text to column option so first of all you have to select all this record you don't have to select only one cell a1 cell but you have to select all the record so what you can do you can put your pointer over here you can select this cell a1 and then after selecting a1 cell then what we have to do we have to press control a control plus a shortcut so i press control plus a we can see that all these records are selected there are total 20 records so after selecting all these records we go to the data tab as we know in the previous video that we go to the data tab and in the data tab we click this button here known as text to columns so i click this button text to columns and now here we are having this wizard that is for the text to column so as we have seen in the previous video here we have to select either delimited or fixed width now in our case we'll be using here delimited because uh, what is our delimiter here the delimiter here it is comma because see after every one particular information there is a comma and that's why it is known as comma separated value file so we'll go with the delimited option here then i click here next button after selecting this next now we have to select here that what is our delimiter so our delimiter is comma so i put here comma i remove this other because here we don't have at the rate we have here comma so after selecting comma here as the delimiter now you can see that we are having these various columns you can see as a preview and now after seeing this preview we go to the next option and now here we are having the columns and now i can decide that what should be the data type of each of the column just now we'll keep it everywhere general and now after doing this thing we have to also select the destination so by default the destination here it is dollar a dollar one that is this cell first cell so i'll keep it the same and after that i click on the finish button now before you click on the finish button suppose if you want to change the destination you can change the destination by clicking this arrow sign here and then uh, here i can select let's say m1 cell if the table should start from m1 i can select here m1 and then it can show all the columns starting from that m1 cell but i don't want to select here m1 i'll be selecting here a1 cell the original cell and after i select here a1 in this dialog box i'll click this down arrow button and now i'm back in the wizard so here now my destination is equal to dollar a dollar one now i click on finish button so here we can see the proper columns so we are having here employee id first name last name gender role department experience country continent salary employee rating and manager id now see some of the columns we are not able to see all those values so what you can do that either you can go to each of the column let's say i'm not able to see all these roles here then i can go to this column and now i can click over here yeah between the e and f there is a area here i double click when i double click now you can see that that column has expanded now suppose if you want to do for all the columns like this then simply you have to select all these columns from a to l and then here after this l means between l and m i have to double click here and now you see that all columns have expanded together so these are the various shortcuts which are having here so now i can do all the formatting because now it is in excel i'm having various columns so i can select all these titles here i can make it here bold I can also increase the size of the title. So now all these things are possible. So see, this is how we bring the CSV file into Excel and then we convert that CSV file into a proper Excel table. This was the practical example. Now we'll save this file. So I will click on file, save as, browse, and then here I'll give the same name, employee DB. Now here I have to select the type of the file. So instead of CSV, I will click it. And now after clicking this drop down, I will select here the first option. In my case, it is Excel workbook so i select your excel workbook so i click on save and now my file is saved i've closed the file and now you can see that we are having here the microsoft excel worksheet so here you can see the size of both the files the normal csv file its size is just 2 kb and the 
Excel file that we created just now, you see the size, it is 12 KB. So little bit this file size has increased. So normally this will always be there that whatever the file size you have for the CSV and then when you convert the CSV into an Excel file, the Excel file will be always bigger. So this is also one of the limitation of Excel. In case of CSV, even though we have many records, but still the file size will be smaller compared to the Microsoft Excel. That's why people are more using CSV file, okay, especially for the data storage. And CSV is also having one limitation that in CSV, I cannot create various sheets. Just like in Excel, we have various sheets like sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, sheet four. And in all the sheets, I can put the data. But in the CSV file, I'm having only one window for that notepad. And in that one window, I can create one table only. So this is also the major difference between the CSV file and the Excel file. So now friends, in the next video, we'll be talking about the various kinds of flash field and the advanced filling. So see you in the next video. Thank you very much.